Christ. Because he laid down his life. Nobody killed Jesus. You cannot kill Jesus. He will stay alive like, I mean the disciples, you cannot kill them even, some of them. So, he laid down his life that I may take it again. Wow! Jesus Christ laid down his life. Not because he was crucified. He laid it voluntarily. And the, now the, the best thing is that he resurrected himself. He resurrected himself. If Jesus Christ can resurrect himself, he can resurrect us also. And that is our biggest hope. That when we die, even if we die, Christ can call us and can resurrect us. No problem. Kahit naman maunahan kayo sa pila, don't worry. <laughs> There is a resurrection, yeah? That's why Christians, we are dead. You know, sabi ni, one of the pastor told, <clears throat> told, uh, told us in his sermon, you, you are complaining too much. You come with me. You come with me to the cemetery. And in the cemetery, he kicked the, anong tawag dun sa ano? Nicho. He kicked the tomb. What did the dead man say? Of course he is dead. He is dead. He doesn't complain. You kick again. No matter how much you kick the tomb, the dead man doesn't complain. He said, we should die daily. We should not complain. <laughs> we should be dead. Do you know why Jesus Christ did not complain? Do you know? Do you know why Jesus Christ did not complain? Did Jesus Christ complain about anything? Okay, then we will have no complaint. <laughs> diba? <clears throat> because our boss doesn't complain. Therefore, that the Father loved me because I laid down my life that I may take it again. No man taketh it, taken it, taketh it from me, but I lay it down myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. When Jesus therefore received the vinegar, he said, it is finished and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Okay. <clears throat> I am crucified with Christ. Okay. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which now I live I, in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of Man who loved me and gave himself for me. Wow. So many things. Ano pa mga kapatid? <clears throat> for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Imagine, I read the Bible, my friends. And I read the book, The Great Controversy. Now I want to become a martyr. <laughs> Have you read the whole Bible? How many people died because of their faith? I think everybody. <laughs> like, if, you're not, if you didn't die of old age. So in, lalo na in The Great Controversy. Martin Luther, Haas, Zwingli, all of them, they died because of their faith. <clears throat> Sabi dyan, to die is gain. Wow. For me to live, but while we are still alive, we live in Christ. Yeah? When we die, we, to die is gain also. I am at the door for by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. And I shall go in and out and find pasture. That is God who is like the door. Yeah? The thief cometh but for in to steal but uh, and to kill and to destroy. I come that I, they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Wow. So the gospel is beneficial <clears throat> for in For in Him we live and move. How do we breathe? Do you know how? Because of God. How do we move? Can you move? Can you walk to church? How? How can we jogging around around here? It is by God's power we are moving. <clears throat> how are we assembled together? You know what? It's amazing if you study the Bible. We have our being as certain also and the own poets have said. For we are also His offspring. Who without the vine we can bear no fruit? I am the vine, ye are the branches. So who is the boss? Jesus. We are just the vine. Yeah? We are the branches pala, sorry. God is the vine and we are the branches. He that abideth in me, if we are connected with Jesus, we can bear grapes. If we are disconnected, it's like cell phone, you disconnect. By and by it will be low bad. <clears throat> Not immediately, maybe later. <laughs> yeah? He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, uh, without God, we can do nothing. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Before Jesus created the world, we already have assignment. Everybody has an assignment in God's work. Yeah? Before created, we already have assignment. Imagine, in whom we have redemption through His blood and the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace, in whom we also have obtained an inheritance. Wow! 
No glory if we don't have land and riches here on earth. In heaven there is an inheritance being predestined. Oh, predestination pala sa Bible. According to the purpose of Him who worketh all things after the counsel of His own will. In whom He also trusted after that He heard the word, the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In whom also after ye believed that ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So Holy Spirit is sealing us with promise. And ye are complete in Him which is the head of all the principalities of power. Okay. Dami naman ito. <clears throat> now, little children, abide in Him that we shall appear. He may have confidence not to be ashamed before Him in His coming. Okay. So, we abide in Christ and Christ abides in us. Yeah? And because